What's it like living in Greensboro, North Carolina? The schools, the neighborhoods, the communities, or even the feel of the lifestyle? We're gonna cover all that right now. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina. Hi, I'm Joel with Sandman Realty, and welcome to another episode of Driving Triad, where we talk about everything Greensboro, North Carolina. In this video, I'm gonna welcome you to Greensboro, North Carolina, and give you a good idea of what life is really like here, day in and day out. Greensboro is the largest city of the three that make up the triad between Winston-Salem, Greensboro, and High Point, with about 300,000 residents. We're located right next to Piedmont Triad International Airport, which will keep you connected to the rest of the country. It's a very easy airport to get in and out of, most of the time checking in through security in 15 minutes or less. A lot of companies love being located in Greensboro as well because it's located right at the intersection of I-40 and 85, making it one of the transportation hubs on the East Coast. So speaking of those employers that love Greensboro, North Carolina, you've got Volvo Trucks, Honda Jet, Coca-Cola, FedEx, just to name a few. So again, smaller city, but not too small. 300,000 people makes it the largest of the three here in the triad. It's gonna be a little bit more vibrant. You're gonna have a bigger downtown scene, more bars, more restaurants, but you're still gonna have those suburban areas all throughout the city that you can drive into town if you don't wanna live right in the heart of it all. So we've mentioned the infrastructure that makes Greensboro such a great city to live in. One of the other things that makes this town so popular is the schools. Northwest Guilford schools are some of the most desirable in the entire state. So if you're looking to be in that area, you're probably gonna actually wanna be on the Northwest side of town, which is gonna be Oak Ridge, Summerfield, even Colfax, something like that. But those schools are some of the best in the entire state. Speaking of schools, don't forget about the universities as well. We've got tons of colleges here in Greensboro. We have UNCG, North Carolina A&T, Greensboro College, Guilford College, just to name a few. Let's talk about Greensboro a little bit. If you're coming here to town, a couple good things for you to check out are gonna be the Civil Rights Museum. Greensboro was big in the Civil Rights Movement. They started with the Woolworth sit-ins and you've got the museum there to check out all the history. If you've got kids, make sure to take them to the Greensboro Science Center. There's lots of fun interactive exhibits as well as even they have some animals there. But if you're a sports guy, you wanna come in and check out a ball game, we do have a minor league team called the Greensboro Grasshoppers. Come on Thirsty Thursdays, enjoy a pint from Natty Greens, local brewery right here. So those are just a couple things for you to check out when you come here to town. Now, as far as neighborhoods, you've got a lot of different areas here in Greensboro. You can be right downtown. As we mentioned, you can be in the Northwest School District and either Oak Ridge or Summerfield are gonna be very popular some of the more historic areas you're gonna get down there. In Irving Park, a lot of bigger, all brick, sometimes mansions, things like that by Greensboro Country Club. And there's plenty of country areas as well if you wanna head out to the east side of the city, out by Forest Oaks. Another great area to be in, southeast schools. So those are just a couple places to be familiar with when you check out the area. Now let's talk about the cost of housing. It can vary greatly depending on where you wanna live. If you wanna go ahead and start off on the lower end, we can probably get a house for about $100,000. The upper end, you wanna go into Irving Park, things like that, you can spend well over a million dollars in some areas. But by and large, let's talk about averages. You can get a three bedroom, two bath house here for about $240,000. You get a two bedroom house for about 150. Rent, depending on where you are again, it's gonna be anywhere from about $1,000 starting on the lower end for a two bedroom and to an upper end of about $2,500 if you're looking into executive rentals and things of that nature. The general rule of thumb is gonna be the closer you get to downtown, the more expensive your rent is going to be. Well, now that you've got some background on Greensboro, I know you might have some more specific questions. All my information is located below, so feel free to reach out however you would like to, and I'll answer any questions that I can. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell for some notifications, and I hope to see you in the future. I'm Joel with Sandman Realty, and I'll catch you later.